Hey everyone! Today is Friday, March 24th. It's about 11.40 and I wanted to talk today about what I'm going to do. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to do today until I go to work later today, so I was just thinking I'd try and do something positive for the world. Um, one About this time last year, one of my really good friends from high school passed away, unfortunately, in a drunk driving accident. He was not the one who was drinking, but um, somebody else was. And uh, I was remembering him today and how much of a positive force that guy was in everybody's life. And I feel like he's still here today because of how deeply he impacted everyone who he came in contact with. So I decided today I wanted to lead by his example and try and put some good back into the world like he did. Um, one of the main epidemics I see around me here in Los Angeles all the time is the homeless people. So I got this big bag and I filled it with a bunch of food. So we've got some uh, beef jerky. We have trail mix. We have fruit snacks and we have granola bars. All stuff that is really not perishable uh, too much. The beef jerky if you leave it for a little while. Um, and I'm just gonna go around to all the homeless people and try and give them some food because they probably need it. So, let's go! Okay, so well, here we are walking around Hollywood looking for some people who are a little hard up. I don't know if they're gonna let me film them while I give them food, but we're gonna try. What is your name? Cynthia S. Collins. How long have you lived in LA? Eight years. Eight years? Have you been on the street the whole time? Nine clothes and a shower. Could you go to the YMCA? I need $7 to do that. Really? And it's all for men, not women. So what was your biggest dream in life? To write my books. What kind of books do you write? Vampire books, like Stephen King. Oh. I'm a Stephen King bitch fan. I am Anne Rice fan. Good. Until she turned Christian. Hey guys. You guys want some food? Yeah? Alright. Here we go. We've got two trail mixes, two fruit snacks, two beef jerkies, and two nature bars for you guys. Sorry you guys are out here on the street like this, but it does get better. Just keep working, okay? You'll be there. I promise. Okay? God bless you both. So something really ridiculous just happened. Uh, let me point it out to you guys. So those two guys right there, I gave some food to the raggedy looking guy who definitely looked homeless. And then the one guy who he was talking to took all the food and walked around the corner and gave it to another well-clothed person. And while he took the food away, both of the people who he gave the food to just laughed like I was an idiot. And uh, then he just went back talking to him. So I'm not quite sure what that means, but apparently the homeless guy was okay with it because he must be friends. Aw, I love you too. Look at it! Well, um, that was an incredibly interesting journey I just went on. For the most part, uh, 9 out of the 10 people I came in contact with were very, very um, appreciative of the food that I gave them. There was one person who was incredibly aggressive, and uh, I wasn't able to really get a uh, video of that. But um, that one guy who took the food away was kind of... Interesting. I'm not sure if they're a film crew or whatever, but I don't know everybody's circumstances, so I guess the message today that I wanted to try and spread is No matter how your life is going. There's always somebody who has it worse um, You know I can sit here and pretend that waking up in the morning um, in a bed in an apartment in Hollywood and having food 
is, you know, okay, and then I get a phone call saying I didn't get an audition or something. And I could just go into this spiral of despair and doubt and, like, it's just... I know this is rambling, but when you compare what other people are going through, all those things don't mean anything. I know there's a, a, that meme online, the first world problems, and I think that's really true. You don't really realize how minuscule a lot of the daily stresses that you focus on in your life are until you see what's going on out there. So do yourself a favor and just put forth good into the world. Just make, make somebody's day. Make them feel happy, make them feel loved. Because a lot of the people out there, the one thing that they really needed was just someone to talk to for a moment because everybody else ignores them. So put forth good into the world and be a soldier for positivity. And uh, yeah, do me a favor and please like and subscribe. It really, really would make a difference and I really appreciate you guys watching this and hopefully together we can change the world one little good deed at a time. All right, I'll see you next time.